Let us now discuss the summary of the poem On Killing a Tree by G. Patel. The poet begins by saying that it takes a lot of effort to kill a tree. In fact, a tree is a strong and majestic creature. The tree has grown strong by feeding from the earth's soil. It has also absorbed years of sunlight, air and water. A mere stab of a knife will not kill a tree. The tree also has sprouted leaves from its leprous hide. The poet uses the phrase leprous hide to refer the discoloration on the bark of the tree. The poet here compares the spots on the tree to the marks of a person suffering from leprosy. So, one is free to cut a tree, but such an act will not kill a tree. The tree will heal from this hurt. It will grow new branches and grow back to its former size if it is left unchecked. For the tree to die, the poet says that one must pull out its root. The earth sustains and protects the root of the tree. The root is the source and essence of the tree's strength. Therefore, the root needs to be roped, tied and then pulled out from its earth cave. Only then, the source of the tree be exposed. Once removed from the earth, the root must be left out in the open, where the sun can burn it. Without moisture, the root will brown and harden. Then, it would twist and finally wither away. And then, the killing of a tree will be complete. The poet here is making a negative argument about killing a tree. By describing the process of killing a tree, the poet is trying to show the readers. But in real sense, through the poem, the poet is trying to persuade the reader not to destroy trees and equates it with killing a human being. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe to our channel.